Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. I welcome you all to today's lesson on mathematics on the topic simplifying algebraic expressions. Today we'll be treating the subtopic adding like terms, multiplying like terms, and simplifying expressions. Let's go into it. Adding like terms. So like terms simply means a group of things that are of the same kind. Example, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. This is a, an example of a like term. And 3 plus 3 plus 3 can also be written as 4 times 3. Why? Because multiplication is a series of addition. So 4 times 3 is the same as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. How many 3's do we have there? 1, 2, 3, 4. And so you multiply 3 by 4. And the value is 12. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. And 4 times 3 is also 12. And that is why multiplication is a series of addition. Hence, when we have a plus a plus a plus a, it can also be written as 4 times a. Why? Because the a's are 4, and so you just multiply 4 by a. So, a letter used in mathematics is what we refer to as a variable. And a variable means something that can change. So, let's say that if A is equal to 7, then we will replace, wherever we find A, we will replace A with 7. So, for A, when we replace a with 7, we have 4 times 7, and we have 28. So when the value of a is 7 in the expression for a, our answer will be 28. Let's look at some examples of simplifying expressions of grouping like terms. 3 plus 2a. 3a can be written as a plus a plus a. And 2a can be written as a plus a. So 3a plus 2a is equal to 5a. Simply by adding all the number of a's in there. Let's look at subtraction. 5b minus 2b. So we write all the 5b, b plus b plus b plus b plus b plus b, 5 times, minus 2b, which is b plus b. So you just take away 2b's, and then you have 3b. Simplifying expressions with numbers and different letters. So when you have an expression like this, 3a plus 2b plus 5a plus 3b plus 7, then the best you can do is to group the like terms at one side and the numbers at the other side. So example, there is 3a here, there is 5a here. So you group them at one side. And there is 2b here, and there is 3b here. So you group this one too at another side. And then the number 7 stays alone here. So then 
you can now add like terms, which is 3a plus 5a equals 8a, and then plus 2b plus 3b equals 5b, and then plus 7. So your final expression is this, 8a plus 5b plus 7. Multiplying like terms. Two times two times two times two times two times two can also be written as two raised to, to the power five. This means that two is multiplied by itself five times. And this gives us a value of 32. Therefore, a times a times a times a times a can also be written as a raised to the power 5. And like we said, any, num any letter used in mathematics is called a variable and meaning that its value can change. So if a is equal to 7, then wherever we find a, we replace a with 7. And we have 7 raised to the power 5. And 7 raised to the power 5 is equal to 16,807. So the value for the expression a raised to the power 5 when a is equal to 7 is 16,807. Let's look at some examples. Simplify the following expression. 3a raised to the power 3 times a. It is expanded as this. 3 times a times a times a times a. And this is what we have. 3 times a raised to the power 4. Why? Because the a comes 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the final answer will be 3 times a raised to the power 4. Let's look at another expression. 3 ti 3b times 2b. So we group the like terms, which is 3 times 2 times b times b. And 3 times 2 is 6. And b times b is b raised to the power 2. So when you put, put them together, you have 6b raised to the power 2. Let's look at another example. 3b raised to the power 2 times 4b raised to the power 3. So you group all the numbers on one side. We have 3 times 4 times b raised to the power 2 times b raised to the power 3. And when you expand it, you have b times b times b times b times b. And how many b's do we have there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So then the answer becomes b raised to the power 5 times 3 times 4 is 12. So we have 12 times b raised to the power 5. Let's simplify this too. 4r times 6s times r squared times s raised to the power 3. You group the numbers at one side, 4 times 6, and then all the r's at one side. So r times r squared times s times s squared. So when you expand this, r times r squared, 
you are going to get r cube why because we have r times r times r and it will give you a final answer of r cube so similarly s times s raised to the power 3 is going to be s times s times s times s which will give us a final answer of s s raised to the power 4 so the final answer will be 4 times 6 24 r times r squared which will give us r raised to the power 3 and s times s raised to the power 3 which will give us s raised to the power 4 so this will be our final answer so that will be the end of today's lesson I have given some assignments on addition of like terms, so do them and submit them to me. Until the next lesson, stay safe. Bye-bye.